In this problem we want to find the shortest distance from the shore to the boat. In this problem we have a 5 km stretch from A to B. And also we have a boat at C. And we want to find the shortest distance from the boat, which is at point C, to the shoreline. And we can call this distance H. Even though we're given two angles, 60 at A, and 45 at B, we're not given much information about the sides of this triangle. We do know that this is 5 kilometers, but that's all we have. If we were to break up this particular triangle into two triangles up here, then we are at a disadvantage because now we don't even have the length of the sides of each triangle. Let's break up those, that big triangle into two triangles anyway. So now we have the two triangles. Let's look what we know about them. We know that this triangle has an angle of 60 and the green triangle has an angle of 45 here. And we know that H is the distance that's similar to both triangles from C to the shoreline. Since we don't know this distance, in the green triangle toward B, we'll name it X. And since we know that the distance from A to B was five kilometers, then we can say that this distance is going to be five takeaway X. So using trigonometry, we can utilize this side five minus X and the side H for the red triangle. And we can utilize X in the green triangle with H. These sides are both adjacent and opposite. 5 minus X is the adjacent side and so is X. X is also the adjacent side of the green triangle. H is the opposite side in both triangles. The trigonometric ratio that we can use therefore is going to be tan for both sides. And so for the red triangle, we'll say that 10, 60, which is opposite over adjacent, will be equal to H over 5 minus X. Whereas the green triangle will have 10, 45, and that'll be opposite over adjacent, which is H over X. And it is H that we're interested in, and H is on both sides. So we have two equations with H in it. This calls for simultaneous equation workout. By rearranging both equations just for H, H here will be equal to 5 minus X in brackets multiplied by 1060. And H on the other side can be rearranged also to be X times 1045. Therefore, both of these equations could be equated because they are both H. And so X1045 is equal to minus 5 times 1060. We need to do some algebraic rearrangement at this moment. And first of all, I would like to expand this part of the right side. And if you're wondering, where does this lead us? Well, we've got one variable there, and that's the variable X. We need to find what X is. So to do that, I would bring the X variable together on one side. And now that I have the X values on one side, I will factorize the X out. Now we need to find X because we need to find the value of X, which is up here. And that's the length of that side. Rearrange that one more time. So X is equal to 5, 10, 60. 
and we divided by the 1045. 1045 is always 1, but at this stage you are allowed to use the calculator. And if you do this, remembering that you want to have the degree signs in, not the radians, you will find that the x value is equal to 3.17. And we're dealing with kilometers. Let's bring our triangle down here, the green one, and look at it again. We know that x value here is 3.17. And we want to calculate h. And we do know that this side is 45 degrees. We could use tan theta again to work this out. But I'm thinking, well, look, if this angle here is 45, and we know that this angle here is obviously 90, then you'll know that this angle is 45 as well, which means that this is an isosceles triangle and two sides are exactly the same. This surely must mean that h is equal to 3.17. This must mean that the distance from the boat to the shoreline is 3.17 kilometers. And this problem is taken from a year 11 book and it is considered one of the harder questions. I will be uploading a lot more of these type of questions so if you think that they are useful to you then maybe you should subscribe. It would do me a lot of help and also put a like to it.